the average and standard deviation are very useful for summarizing data following a, a normal distribution or following the normal curve. So if you have a set of data, a, a list of data points, you can make a histogram out of that data. And if the shape of the histogram in, in general follows a normal curve, then the average and standard deviation are useful descriptive statistics for this data. Gives you sort of the, the, the center point and the general spread. However, the average and standard deviation can tend to not work quite as well for a set of data that doesn't follow the normal curve. For example, like shown here, in this case that the average is around $60,000, standard deviation around $40,000, and so the average and standard deviation are still useful, but it can be problematic when you think about how data points that are more than one or, or one and a half standard deviations below the average are already getting close to going beyond the data set. So that would be like negative incomes, right? Which doesn't make sense. So as an alternative to describe these kinds of histograms, statisticians often use percentiles. A percentile is given in the units of the data. So a percentile for this set of data here would be some level of income in thousands of dollars. And what it's describing is the percentage of the data points that are equal to or lower than that value. So the median income on the histogram, the income right in the middle, would be the 50th percentile because 50% of the data points are below this level of income. $135,000 is the 90th percentile because 90% of the data points are less than or equal to $135,000. And so that's how percentiles work. Okay, now and just note, per percentiles can and are used with normally distributed data as well. It's just that they can be a useful alternative to the average and standard deviation with non-normally distributed data.